Think of like the big idea, the vision, the purpose as the mother. And think of your business or your goals or those you know things you want to execute as the father. And you're the son of the daughter. Right. You want to be in alignment with the universe. You need a big idea to reach for. You need a tool to get there. And you need to grow personally and shoot and, and reach for those things. So I found my big idea, my truth. And then I went and created the business. And I left that business. That, that, that business I had with that mentor to pursue this thing that was so much bigger than me. And that, that, that was like one more step of um, getting really, 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 really convicted on something that was more important than me and clear on something more important than me. It was the beginning of the real journey. It was almost like, it's like personally leveling up and then all these other things happen and then another big consciousness uplift happened. And then all, so then I'd say the secret ingredient to all of that is to be open and to reflect on everything. Absolutely. So, so now at this point, I mean, you're extremely focused. You don't drink, you don't party. Now, when, when Jay has a moment of, of quiet time, are you just enjoying, you know, peace, relaxation and books? Do you ride motorcycles, bicycles? Are you jogging? Are you taking walks on the beach with your dog? Like, what is it that you do to, um, even though you can't take lavish vacations and doing all these things right now because you're so busy, how do you, you know, decompress, unwind and, and still, you know, come to work and be sane every day. Well, so number one, that would be under the presupposition that I'm sane every day. <laughs> None of us are sane. <laughs> right. Yeah, that I'm, that I'm not completely neurotic. Right. By no means am I who I aspire to be every day. By no means am I who I aspire to be tomorrow. That's a huge say. key, I think, just to have a quick pause, is that um, especially for people who you, you you look up to certain people, you're inspired by certain people, and they always look so cool, calm, and collective on the surface. Myself, Jay, and, and anyone out there in the world are mega successful people like Gary Vee and Grant Cardone, any of these any of these folks. But behind the scenes, like we're, we go through hell every day with the management, the, the growth, the development, hiring, firing. It's um it, it's very tough to mask at times, but it's I don't think that people always realize how much really goes into all of this. A hundred percent. And, and, and I would say even more. So to answer your question as clearly as I would capable, be capable of who I am, period, is someone that enjoy, that is curious and wants to share. So I've built, I'm attempting, I'm, I'm, I'm working on, we're building a, a business, right? That is a vision to a solution of that problem. Meaning, I'm in my bliss when I'm reading, writing, and speaking every day. So that's what I do in my free time. In turn, that makes me better at what culture matters is, because the mission statement is to inspire people to read, write, speak, and influence others to do the same every day. Right. So like, the mission of the company is the reflection of who I am in essence. Now, to make reading, writing, and speaking a business, I also have to coach, create courses, create content, and cultivate the culture of the company every day. And those are the things that I must do every day. Now, the things that I would do in my free time are reading, writing, and speaking. So when do you totally unplug? and just stop writing and maybe you have a book with you and you just have your own thoughts. If I'm on a beach, I'm gonna be reading a book and it's gonna engage me and enthrall me and you know, help me come to new understandings of myself. Now, that isn't to say that, let's say, that isn't to say that in the past, years ago, that like anyone else, I've watched an entire series of Netflix in a day. <laughs> got a binge of like it's well. it's not as if oh you know this, this that's no like at the end of the day like when you understand us and you understand humans we have these neurotransmitters these dopamine neurotransmitters that are released when we watch things that we enjoy we have you know we're all equal in the sense that we have the same brain. Yeah, I ride right? motorcycles like that's my thing and like I have to go out and hit 150 miles an hour on a street bike every once in a while so like, we all have to have that. 
that release something that takes us away from our business and it's important to I think to discover some some other passions too but there was something else you touched on um, which made me think of like the, the principle do more of what you love less of what you hate and you'll become more successful so writing speaking being around people networking you know growing the business you know that's that's my strength as well I wish I had more time to devote to it so it's like how often are you getting bogged down with the minutia of emails, follow up, um, you're dealing with the fires, you know, behind the scenes of all the admin burden? Um, do you have a lot of that now, or are you able to focus 100% of your time on this? Because I only see you. You see Jay Duran. He's constantly on camera, constantly doing interviews, seemingly doing what you love to do every day. And I would personally love to do more of that too. Um, we're always struggling between this stuff that has to be done and the stuff that's most important and the stuff that we love. So like what, what really is your day like there? So it's interesting you bring that up. The, the, the clarity that I have in my strength zone is supported by, for example, my admin who invests their time, their money and their energy to support this goal because I'm so clear on the vision, the mission, our values, my strength zone and communicate those with that person they have self-actualized from this business they feel a sense of love and belonging they feel a sense of independence what that means is they feel respected and they are good at their role and they know their strength zone and they have their task and they get that done ten thousand percent more effectively than most people would do in their position which is the exact reason organizations must hire me to help them create cult like followings because I am the proof in the pudding. So, they so all my people, leaves in you. All, everybody, like everybody, and they must, they must, or else your business isn't one. It's just someone with that is good at, for example, if, you're, if anyone's in real estate, they might not be reading, writing, and speaking, but what they must be doing is reaching out to new business, staying in touch with their current business, and making those deals come in on time. So like those are the three things. And then obviously once it's them and other humans, develop their other humans. So I spend a lot of time in developing my other humans so that they're in, they're in the role that they need to be based on what their personality is and then they also are competent and feel confident in their inner relationship right. with, with everybody. Like if I couldn't pull that off, then I shouldn't be the guy people would hire to help them with that. Right. So that's the reason I'm always able to do my thing is because there are people, part of this organization, that very clearly believe in the vision, very clearly believe in the mission. They know what the values are, and they see me act, not talk, and, and, and they put up with me because of that. Right. And by no means, that's when it really hit me that I'm on to something with culture, because I am by no means the strong manager. I am by no means the, the most consistent leader. I am just someone that is extremely convicted of something. 